Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Bruntime from Team Lucky 7 Gaming, and today I'm going to tell you how to set up a 7 days to die server with Hamachi. So, let's go ahead and get this started. In a link in the video description below will be a link to Logmean's uh, Hamachi download. All you're going to do is hit conditions of use and then download the unmanaged version. Then you're going to install it from, you know, your installer. After that, you're going to run it. So, I'm going to hit Logmean Hamachi. And we're going to let that start up. And once it starts up, go ahead and uh, have it open right here. Now, you're going to take note of a couple things, all right, right away. Yours is going to be completely white, and your power button is going to be red. Power on. So yours, or not red, but it's going to be white. Uh, power on, and then it's going to resolve, connect, probe. And uh, once that's done, it will actually be connected to all your networks, if you have any existing networks. Um, mine's taking a little longer. All right, there we are. All right, so once that's up, all you need to do is uh, take note of your IPv4 of your Hamachi network. Um, you don't need to necessarily remember it because your friends are going to be able to do a different method that uh, will help them out in the long run and save you a little bit of trouble. All right, so all you're going to do is click Network, create a new network, and we're going to call this network, oh, I don't know, Brent time is a person. Okay, yeah. And then we're going to make the password whatever. Here, I'm going to make the password IOU. Because I owe you a guide. I owe you. Alright, then you create. Now you can see it says Brent time is a person. Now, w if you want someone to connect to your network, all you got to do is tell them to go network, join an existing network. Then they type in the network name, so Brent time is a person. And then they type in the password IOU. Now, I'm already in the uh, network, so it won't really matter. Now, each network can only hold five people. And you can only upgrade a network by uh, going through the, you know, managed networks and paying for it, essentially. But there's a workaround. And as you can tell, the workaround is you can have as many existing networks as I know of. You can have as many as you want. But the workaround is, is you make multiple and then certain friends join certain ones. As you can see, Rex, Ryan, and Ninja are part of L7 Rex. And then uh, Tilo, Panda Bear, and Evan are a part of 7 Days to Die L7. And essentially what that's going to mean is they can all connect to me. It's just they're not connected to each other, which isn't really a big deal because they don't need to be. They all need to just connect to me. All right, so once that's done, all your friend is going to do once they're in the network is right-click on your name, go down to Copy IPv4, and that'll copy it to your clipboard. I will see you in game to tell you what to do with it. Once you're in game, you're gonna make a decision. Either you're gonna be the person that's hosting or you're gonna be the person that's joining. If you're the person that's hosting, you're gonna hit new game or continue game. If you hit new game, obviously you're gonna make a new save. You hit continue game, you're gonna use an already existing save. Now these saves can be single player, they don't need to be multiplayer. There is no such thing as a multiplayer world and a single player world, they coexist together. So, and if you're joining, you need to hit connect to server. Now, when I said that IPv4, this is where you put the IPv4. Now, copying it to cl your clipboard will allow you to hit control and V. Control and V is actually the quick command for copy paste. Once you have this, if your start button does not come up, all you got to do is click in front of the IP. Actually, it's not going to allow me. And then type, um, hit backspace or type uh, just like I did. So, essentially, what I did a lot was just click in front of it, but it's not going to let me today. I don't, oh, there you go, and then I hit backspace, and then you hit start, and then you're in. But remember, the person that is hosting it should probably be in game before the person joining it joins, or else they're going to get an error, and then they're going to have to restart the game, which isn't exactly a lot of fun. Now, the person that's hosting will get a ton of errors. I do not know if that's currently fixed in your version. If it is, then go ahead. You can just play it without those errors. All you got to do is, you, if you get the errors, just hit escape. There'll be a red line of code. It's because the person that is uh, playing with you is hitting E too fast when picking up an object, and it's actually duplicating, and the server has to get rid of it. And that's all it really is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to click an annotation at the end of the video to go to other 7 day dot. Seven Days to Die Guide. Sorry for that. And, um, yeah, uh, have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember to consider leaving this video a like and adding it to your favorites. And if you get a chance, go ahead and subscribe to our channel for future content. Thank you and have a great day.